Stop, stop, stop. Put your hand behind your back. Josh, we're not doing it. Stop. Are you gonna relax? No. Put your hands on your back right now. Welcome to another exciting episode of Attorney Reacts. I'm your host, Attorney Marcus Session. Today I'm going to react to a video titled, Police Surprise Man in His Bedroom After a Serious Crime. Huh, wonder how serious it is. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to our page. And without further ado, let's get right into it. On August 12th, 2022, officers were dispatched in reference to a domestic battery case. What over here. Yeah. He choked me. Um, I got slammed onto the table. Um, push, shoved. Um, oh, you hurt. Every, like my, my hand. My what side. started this uh, fight? He said I was beating too loud. Okay, always remember, in a domestic situation, if the cops show up, then somebody's leaving. Whether or not somebody's going to jail, somebody's gonna leave. They're usually not gonna let you stay in the house together after you've been arguing or fighting all night. When we're arguing or stuff, I was in the living room watching TV. Mm -hmm. He came out furious. Um, I was like, what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. I don't know. People don't usually just come and hit people for no reason. Well, I don't know. Sometimes that's the case, but I don't know. Basically, we were, he thought I cheated on him. I didn't. He came out furious. He's a little drunk right now. I'm a little drunk right now. I was sitting in the living room by myself. Ah, there's your motive. Infidelity. He came out and just I started beating up on me. And uh, Okay. What apartment do you live in? Uh, 16. 16? Okay, it's not seeming like he's gonna answer this door. How are the cops gonna get in? So there are a couple of ways they can get in without a search warrant, right? Because the general rule is that for a cop to want to come into your home, they need a warrant from a neutral and detached magistrate, which is a judge. So in this situation, the other person that lives in the home that has dominion over the home can give them consent to go in and everything is fine. Or if there was an exigent circumstance, if they felt that the person that's in the home, they needed to get that person to arrest that person or to question them because of an emergency situation, they can actually enter the home without a warrant. He took my key, Evan. He took every uh, He took your keys? Yes, I took his keys. I mean, it's my that's not my current address yeah. on there, but I mean. So, where exactly did he hit you? Yeah, I mean, you can see my hands. Well, it hits your hand, man. That's from hitting something. Yeah. No, he didn't um, hit him up. That's how long that was. Did you hit him back? No, I mean, I'm like, he's much bigger than me if you okay. see him. Do you, do you have keys for your apartment? He's much bigger than you. It doesn't matter. Did you hit him back? Did you hit him first? That's what matters. So the cops are asking all the right questions. I know he pushed me out. I thought I'm a boy. Oh, 
You cannot break and enter into your own home. Usually the elements of that crime calls for you breaking and entering into the dwelling place of another. Burglary. And you want to? Yeah, I mean just to grab my oh, I don't know where to lock the door. Oh, okay. It's just crazy. So he is a resident of this apartment. He lives there. He is consenting to the cops coming in because he has dominion over the place. And regardless of whether or not that other person wants him there and the other person can stop him from coming in. Let's say if he comes out and says, no, I don't give y'all consent to come in. All it takes is one of the residents who lives there to come and say, I don't give y'all consent to come in for the cops to have to go get that search warrant. But again, the cops could say that they have an exigent circumstance. They need to to conduct this investigation. Maybe a crime is taking place that they believe and they need to find that out. So they have a right to go and question this guy. You have your weapons in the house? No. What's up with the lights? Oh, that, that illegal hole. Bedroom straight ahead, uh, pantry to the left. Hey, Josh. Come in, Emily. Hi, wake up. You have anything out here? What's going on is I'm asleep or pretending to sleep. Are you fighting with your, your boyfriend? No, no. Here, get up for me just because I don't. You don't have anything on the toes and stuff? No. Okay. Alright, so what happened? What's, what's going on? You know, you. No. Well, what happened? We gotta know what happened. Did you guys get in charge of it? Joss, we're just trying to clear this up, man. As soon as we clear it up, we can get going. Hey. Seriously, dude, wake up, man. Like, what are you, what are you doing here? You hit him, he hit you, whatever. I think it would have gone better if he would have stepped outside to just talk to the cops and explain his side of the story. Josh, seriously, man, you're an adult. Let's go, come on. Police are here. We gotta figure out what's going on. Yo, seriously, dude, wake up. Like, you're not sleeping. We're right here. <laughs> Dude. Josh, you know if you don't say anything, we're gonna go off with uh We're just gonna go with this statement. If you don't wanna Josh, talk it's us. now now your time. Just tell me what's going on. Josh, just tell me what's going on that we can clear it up. Josh is being very non-cooperative at this moment. It's true. If he doesn't speak up and tell his side of the story, they're trying to give him an opportunity. If he doesn't take that opportunity, they're going to go with the other party's side, and that's going to put Josh in a bad situation. Get up. Me? Yeah. Where did he hit you? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Did he say his hand is messed up from snapping his mm mm mm? There was a beep there. I don't know. How'd you get this one? I 
<laughs> That's the look of guilt right there. That face that only a mother could love is the look of guilt. Snap. Okay, so you went like that, that would be in your palm. What about that one? Again, headphones, snap. Okay, so did you hit him at all? I didn't hit him at all. No? Did you choke him? I didn't do anything to him. Why were you play sleeping then? Why were you, didn't you talk I to was sleeping. I don't even know how the hell you guys got in here to begin with. Okay. The other party gave them consent to come into the home. That's how they got in. So what happened? Why did you break that phone? Let's start with it. Okay, so you're saying you guys were sleeping there. Well, hold on. First you said y'all didn't have a fight or an argument. So already you're lying. You just snapped the headphones and what was it? after that. What was it? And is it physical at all? No. Okay, why does he have redness on it? I, again, I don't know. We want to see why he has cuts on his arms. Oh, that's what I'm doing right now, man. I'm trying to figure everything out. How did all this stuff get to all of it? That was all him. That was all him. That was during the headphone. That was, that was all. Or was that after him? Wait, was that him running the headphone thing? That was that after? After. I don't know what his problem is. Did he hit you at all? We didn't get to any altercation. No altercation at all? No. I didn't get physical with him. He didn't get physical with me. I showed my expression of frustration on the headphones and that was it. He showed his frustration on the headphones, but apparently the other guy has marks on his body, redness. I didn't see it from the angles I was given or the angles we were given, but apparently that's what happened, and it's not lining up with Josh's story here. Nothing about cheating or anything? No. No. All right. Oh, we're talking one more time. All right. Hey, don't fall asleep. Just stop on sleep. Why would you say that? Yeah. Seriously, like, we're not joking around that way. Like, I got two separate stories. He said he hit me because he doesn't want to get in trouble. Okay. I mean, uh, I mean, you're drunk, he's drunk. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah, have I mean, stories from look at me, look at him. People. He's a much bigger guy than me. Clearly. I, I hate that argument maybe because i'm a really big guy i'm about i'm about six five six six 255 pounds and you know uh you always hear people say oh well, you're a big guy if somebody hits a guy my size or bigger it doesn't matter shit still hurts don't hit another person i don't give a damn how big or how small he is i'm not gonna be the aggressor you think i'm gonna push him no you have to arrest him i'm no it's not about whether or not this guy wants him arrested. It's about whether or not the cops, after conducting their investigation, has come to the determination that a crime has taken place or someone has been physically violent with someone else and needs to go. Yeah. Because this is happening. Sit on the floor or stand on the floor? Which one? And am I a puppy? Let's go. Come on. Seriously. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's, that's exactly what we're going to do. Get up. You guys are going to get out of my house. No. Get up. Out of my house. Gosh. Out of my house. Gosh, get out. <laughs> nah, they ain't going nowhere, buddy. <laughs> they are not going anywhere. <laughs> Josh, are you going to stand up yes or no? No. No? Okay. Get up. Before this happens, I always say it, do not resist arrest. Whether or not you feel you are in the right, do not resist because two things are going to happen. You're going to get a resisting arrest charge and you're probably going to get an assault on a police officer or assault on a public servant charge because when you're wrestling with the cops and you accidentally hit one of them, even if it's an accident, they can add that charge and it usually sticks. So guys, please do not resist. Why? Put your hands on your, your back. Hands behind your back. You're not on your 
to tase you. Usually that warning that you're going to get tased brings about some compliance. There it is. During the struggle, you hit or bruised an officer. And they're taking pictures of the evidence. Don't do it. Alright, that's another charge. Are you going to walk or not? The male was charged with domestic battery, resisting arrest and aggravated battery upon a peace officer. Well, there you have it. Of course, I agree with the lady officer that domestic violence is never okay. Guys, ladies, usually it's better just to leave the situation before it gets bad or before it gets worse. One of you just leave and, and remove yourself from the situation. It's usually the best course of action. But as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to our page, to my personal page. I always have some content for you there. And until next time, take it easy, my friends. Let's go.